Once again, we would like to thank you for tuning in to the Living Word Television Network broadcast. Well, once again, I am your host, your guest speaker, Prophet Scotty Lee Johnson. Based upon the word of the Lord coming forth out of the Whosoever Will Outreach Ministry, located right in the beautiful city of Richmond, South Carolina. Now, I would like to thank each and every one of you, again, who have been viewing the Living Word broadcast, and thank you for the reviews that have been going out. And I would like to also say to you that so in the up and coming future, you will be able to visit the Living Word or the Living Strong broadcast in Richmond, South Carolina on Sunday nights at 6 o'clock here. Also, and, and the reason I keep saying Living Word and Living Strong is because Living Strong is bringing Living Word to the people. Yeah. Yeah. And you will get a chance to do that because if you're wondering what the M means, it means money and more money. <laughs> but today we are live at Seed Time and Harvest Ministry. Yeah. <laughs> 
And when we talked about the power of a change mind, yes. you cannot deal with whatever the it's are in your life, except you deal with the power of a change mind. Yes. And when transformation comes in, yes. you not only deal with it, but you realize that you can deal with it for a reason. Yes. Yes.
definition of the identity of who you are and what you are going to be or to become so that you may accomplish the things in which I've laid out for you. So based upon that, he allowed it, his gift in you to become the center of it and he stood over it and they twain became one flesh. Not just simply marriage, but which meant that you also have the same thought, same mind, same belief, same goal, same dream. There was no division. There was no separation. You became one with the it that God said that I'm going to marry in your life so that can't nothing separate you from my will because I am your it in life. Do you get it? So in closing, in chapter number 17, Talking about the intercessory prayer of Jesus that is so, so dynamic unto the word of itself brought tears to my eyes. We won't have time to read the whole thing, but we'll look at this in short. Sister God, if you will, please. Verse number one in chapter number 17 starts to finish. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Yes. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Yes. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Stop, sister God, please. Yes, sir. Look, it's in your Bible. Amen. Jesus is saying, glorify me with what we shared before the world began. You was in the word of God and the product of God even before you got to your mother and dad. And God is saying that there is a glory that he wants to take back in your life even from the beginning and take you back to and fulfill that. So when he's saying glorify me, Jesus is not talking about put me up on a pedestal and make me look good. Jesus is saying bless them so I look good. Precedence in your life. So you got to remember 
some of y'all sitting there choking and don't even know it. God is moving in leaps and bounds and he is blessing you right now. Somebody said, Lord, Prophet Johnson, give me more. Are you sure? Because I got some time. That clock is moving so slow today. And the people that know me and been watching said, Prophet Johnson, you love to eat all the time. I can't wait to get up out of here and get something to eat. Sister God, we cannot go any further because we have got to finish. But what I want you to do is bring us to the point to where we are going to see where Jesus spoke and said something so very powerful. So what I want you to do is read just a little bit further and we're going to jump. Read. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Do y'all see it there? Yeah. Because they kept the word that God spoke to them. And he said, now I know and they will know that everything that they got and not only I got, it came not only from me, but from you and the word that I gave them. So what God is giving you is a right now word and the word that he's giving you is getting ready to bring you back from three months to three years time of everything you have lost in your past. And talk to the work out of here today. today. And God is saying, I am moving speed of it. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because I'm going to tell you, like we told everybody else, God wants to give you an ain't study blessing. Get it! 
we're, we're done. Verse, sister, I forgot to jump. Verse number 21, sister, God, please read that. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent. Stop! Sister Godwin, we can't go no further because we gotta look at verse number 18, 17. All my time is running out. I've got to hug it. Verse number 17, we sanctify them through thy truth. To what? Truth. He didn't ask for nothing else. I need five minutes. I need five minutes. Can I have ten minutes now? God didn't ask for nothing else, Joseph. He said, the only thing I want you to know is the truth. Because the truth can be bad, but it's still the truth. And he said, sanctify them, which means the truth is going to set them apart. Who am I talking to? Who can be a sinner in living in truth? And God appreciates you more than you being a CEO and a billionaire and living in life. Who am I talking to? We're not going to finish. Verse number 20, Sister God, read. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Do y'all see that? Amen. God said, there's folks here right now because you said something to them. All right. He said, not only am I going to bless you, right. but I'm trying to bless you and put a word in your mouth to bless right. somebody else so they can bless you. Right. How many say they ain't going back? Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Don't make me stay here all day. Make up your mind that you're worth what you're worth. I tell your neighbor to answer, tell them what you say, priceless. Every bit of it, priceless. That's how much you cost. You cost so much until God sold out his own son for you. And you sit up there looking in the mirror, talking about you ugly, talking about where you came from. And everything else, where you came from is going to make you to where you're going to get to where you go. My time is up. Here it comes. Let's finish. Minister Kevin, start to finish. Thank you. Verse number 22. Sister Garmin, if you will, please. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Stop! It's in your Bible. It's in your Bible. Who did he give it to? Say me. 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 He gave us the glory. Amen. That's why it ain't gonna matter when folks hate on you while you're looking good. God will put you back in something small just to get you to something big. Just so that when you get something big, you will appreciate it. God will downsize you to show you you. God will bring you out of a mansion and put you in an apartment. Just so you can learn how to pray. When God the Lord ain't got to do all that, that prophet Joshua, where are you at? Talk to me quick one time. I know that's right. How many of y'all getting this before we close? Don't your heart feel lifted up? Somebody said, Prophet Joseph, it's about time. I've been waiting on this teaching. Who is it? Who is it? That's the only one. That's the only one. Sister God, let's show them the good part. Verse number 22, spot the finish. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. Oh! Shit! Y'all are true! You go! You church people are done! They're true! Hey, y'all, they're true! Jesus is saying that what we had from the beginning, and what I planned for you from the beginning, I would that 
you will deal with the itch in your life because what I want to do is bring you back to a place that you and I, the word that I give you, which is going to be truth in your life, you will deal with it, which is the answer to your itch. And then I want that they be one even as we are one, and I'm going to bring them back into the unification of glory that I started from the beginning. And that's why the enemy tried to destroy them the way that he did. So the God of the Bible declares, I pray that you not take them out of the world, but that you save them from the evil that is in the world. So God is trying to tell you that the evil was the it, but I had a hit to make your it cause a miss. So God is trying to tell you that when I do for you this time, Thank you. 
Fantastic.